Okay, so I got two splake here, um, and I'm gonna cut them up. We're gonna eat them. I'm gonna do a recipe that uh, that uh, Josh Josh McFadden Instagram Josh McFads, I think he sent over. He does amazing cooking, and I don't. So let's see how it goes. So I know Josh mentioned to cut out all of the the belly meat which I think with a lot of fish, that's where you're gonna get a lot of your, your fishy taste is in this belly meat here um, and like around the fins as well. So I know when I've done lake trout, I've done that as well. Just kind of cut out around the belly here. Now these are pretty small trout, so they do have some pin bones running alongside there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna even bother cutting them out just because they're so they're such small fish anyways that I'm thinking they might not be an issue I'm gonna try to keep these pieces all relatively thin and just kind of chunk it up Wow, that was insanely hard with this cutting surface. All right, go rinse these off real quick. I tried to keep it simple by packing light to eliminate mess and the hassle of hauling all this stuff and it made things more difficult thinking of it now I probably should have watched the the episode where they made it in the boat Josh and Jay but we're winging it my tackle box is gonna smell like fish forever Throw it in there. Then I'm going to take a lime, cut the lime in half. Obviously. Oh, if I was smart, I would have brought a juicer. You know, this is pretty uh, bare bones. Another lime. Now I think the way this whole thing works is because of the acid in the limes. If I remember right. And I'm just gonna let that dwell while I prep the other stuff. Got some cilantro. Since I don't have a cutting board, I'm just destem it. And then I think tear it apart. This is pretty bare bones elementary cooking techniques, you know? I love cilantro. Mm -mm -mm. This is like pico di trouto. <laughs> I 
and I got a leak. Like I like I got a leak. I don't have to I don't have to take a leak, but I got a leak. This thing's weird. All right, Josh told me to cut this thing real thin. Too thin. Pop out these centers. I don't know why I'm popping out the centers, but I just don't feel like they should be in there. Maybe they should. Maybe that's the only thing that should be in there. I have no clue. But that's the beauty of it. This is our world. We can do whatever we want. Oh, man. I'm gonna eat it all. What does a leek taste like? Tastes like an onion. Except different. An onion maybe with not such a onion taste, if that makes sense. We're just about done. Got our avocado, which I don't think is ripe, but we're gonna check it out. And if it's not ripe, then we will not use it. Not even close to being ripe. Okay, scratch the avocado. Pick up all your garbage, including fish scraps. You can see that the the acid and the lime has made those chunks of trout a little bit kind of white, which I think is a part of the whole cooking process. The only thing I forgot was salt and pepper, which is kind of a bummer, but what do you do? Just like that. How's that for presentation? of truth really fresh mm. just think I just caught this 20 minutes ago I didn't even need a fire. Which is good. Because I forgot a lighter. I think the one thing I forgot to do was hold the. <laughs> I forgot to hold the meat up to the light to see if there was any spots in the meat. I don't know. Should be fine. Trouto, Trouto, Trouto de Gallo. Wow. 
Trotto de Gallo. Trotto de Gallo. I don't know what I'm trying to say. 